what's up my crazy subscriber this is Joking John 84 and thank you for joining today I'm gonna bring you guys game number two of my season three of my anatomy team and um, yes we are coming from one of the worst losses of all time here in Madden 15 which was 30-0 well I am still looking for redemption I'm still looking for some retaliation this is not gonna go down as you know one of the worst seasons I'm actually trying to you know actually win every single game from now on you know because the previous game was pretty much of a you know of a wake up call like nobody's easy anymore you get a freaking face everybody who has elites and legends all over the goddamn place and um, you know maybe players who are calling in weird ass plays you know you gotta face those guys already so you know it was just a wake up call so now I'm going into here into week into game number two and I'm planning like you know actually calling you were plays in offense because you know my previous ones weren't working against this other guy so imagine what will happen to the next guy who you know who has some weird ass defense so I had my first drive I ended up calling one of the one of the weirdest plays and by the way guys I'm not the one in the red I'm the one in the white I am playing away because you know I also use the Niners jersey but um I am away so I'm the one in the white jerseys I repeat white the jerseys uh, so yeah I'm not the one scoring right here right away anyways yeah he did struggle against my defense he it took him like at least two minutes and 30 seconds to score so I would say like okay I'm just scouting his offense see if he calls in plays back to back cuz that's that's the tendency of every single Madden player so far like they call in the same exact offensive plays back to back and I don't I usually call in like 10 different plays before I start calling the same ones again and um, that's been how, what's been working for me like in season two that's why I wanted to defeat it and um, you know I actually worked out a good scheme with my offense my first offensive drive was a fail actually I was trying to call in new plays but it didn't work so I ended up punting and this guy got the ball back my opponent and he ended up throwing an interception to Gerard Mayo. And I was like, God damn, this is about to be a good game. Because at that point, I was like, okay, I read his offense. If I keep on doing this, that same defensive play, I would intercept the ball at least a few more times. Because this guy kept on calling the same offensive plays. And I was like, okay, I'm going to take this advantage of this. Let's see if he throws in another interception. So I ended up scoring a touchdown. And um, wow, right there. You know, Antonio Cromarty had a chance to intercept the ball, but apparently not. And I don't understand why he caved in. Like, he could have just ran out of the way and scored a touchdown and leave me with at least 40 seconds to score. But he ended up, you know, being tackled and not scoring the ball. That was a really confusing play. I was like, what? So he ended up throwing an interception the next play. That really killed him right there because, you know, he could have scored. And the score should have been right down at this point at 14 7, but I guess not. So I'm back in the offense, calling in my old school plays. I'm like, all right, just call in the same regular plays. And I don't know what I saw there, but uh, I threw an interception. I mean, I could have scored. I could have scored before the second quarter ended, but it was just a dumb move by me. That was all me, you know. I said that one. <laughs> the interception was thrown by me. Uh, so I'm back in the offense. Th third quarter, I received the ball. Nice run by Doug Martin. Maybe one of the one of the best ones so far in season two. He didn't run nothing like in the first game, so that's why it's his first best run. Jason Morrow down the middle. So <laughs> jukes this guy out. Oh, uh, the way touchdown Jason Morrow scoring a touchdown down the middle an amazing pass I was like god damn you know that was just a very lucky touchdown so back in defense intercept the ball yet again with Gerard Mayo nothing's going on with this office because he keeps running five wide in the same play over and over again I'm surprised he's not calling in curl because this guy was because I was leaving open the outside so I don't know, like that was just freaking weird. So back in offense, Joe McKnight with a little option all the way for a touchdown. I think that was like a 20 yard touchdown. And it was a good option by the way, because he keeps calling those. I mean, that's the problem with some certain mana players. Like, you gotta mix it up, man. You gotta mix it up. If the same shit happens back to back, like, which is intercepted, interception, you're not supposed to call that play again. But yet he does. Like, he keeps calling it in. I'm like, okay, just give me free interceptions then. Back in the offense, 2 minutes and 30 seconds to go. At this point, I'm like, alright, let me run the clock down because there's nothing. He's not, He can't do shit. He, he just can't. He can't do shit in the offense. So what's the point? I'm just going to run the clock. And um, that's all I did. 40 seconds to go. He calls in a timeout. 13 seconds to go. Play action. My favorite goal line play. Jermichael Finley, wide open. Touchdown. So the score is now 20-7. to 7. 
So that is it for now, guys. You know, I won the game 28 to 7, and um, this puts me in a record of 1 and 1. At this stance, I'm like, okay, I really need to get Vincent Jackson at this point because it's pretty much of a warning what happened in the first game, and um, I believe that I need a better receiver because without Vincent Jackson, you know, maybe uh, my offense would not produce. So that's one of my main goals so far. I won this game, guys, but I still, I'm a little bit worried. So that's it. Subscribe for more, guys. You guys want to see more Madden 15 Ultimate Team.